it's Jan from the mountain. This week, a down the mountain shopping trip, a knitting update, spinning update, and a vintage haul. We went down the mountain the other day to go on a shopping trip. It's in a shopping mall called Gili, which is Italian for lilies and it's on the road to Florence. It's not far from Florence, although we don't actually go into Florence. We are still going down the mountain. It actually takes 20 minutes to get down the mountain and onto the main road to take us towards Luca, which will then take us to the motorway. We're still going down. This is um, coming down from the local town which is still 400 plus meters high. Um, my village is higher again, obviously, um, and we're still going down. It's a lovely day. You can see the beautiful blue sky and fluffy clouds. And I went on the shopping trip with my two daughters and we're full of the joys of spring. Not every trip is smooth, as happened to me the other day. Um, for some reason, the local council decided to chop trees down. And then further on the journey, 10 minutes further down the road, on another road actually, they were doing exactly the same. And I was late for my appointment. Never mind. Here we are on the motorway, uh, the Autostrada, on the way to Florence. We're actually not far from the shopping mall now and the weather is still lovely. I love these trips because there's so many interesting buildings. You see in the distance, there are medieval towers and it's just fascinating. Here we are here at Gili and we're just looking for a parking space because it's very popular as you can imagine. There is an absolutely enormous car park and I think we went on a day that wasn't as busy as, as we have been in the past. So there were a lot more free spaces to be able to park. So we were quite pleased about that. I think we've spotted one. Inside is, I have done a video about this in the past, but I always include just a little bit of the inside when we come. It's got all the usual um, popular shops and stores here. I'm actually only going for basics, so I didn't film um, the shopping. I did film the treat that we always have at the end of our shopping, just to recharge our batteries and get our energy back. This time it was a strawberry frappe, loads of cream and strawberry pieces, absolutely delicious. Here's my knitting update. Um, it's coming on nicely, but it's a very slow process at the moment. Um, I did have five balls of wool dangling from it and still have to a certain extent. It's nice and stretchy in the rib and I'm very pleased with the way it's coming on. The red ran out, so I substituted it with some of this dark rust orange merino which is a little bit finer but um, I'm still pleased with the effect. I actually ran out of the red because last year I knitted myself a pair of Nordic mittens and I absolutely love these to bits. Um, I, they're so warm and soft inside. They're a bit fluffy because um, I spun the wool with a drop spindle so it wasn't quite as tightly spun, there wasn't as much twist, but I absolutely adore these mittens um, because of the pattern, the weave, the, weave, the yarn is woven at the back, uh, it's nice and thick, so I'll wear these most days. Back to my sweater, um, yeah I'm quite pleased with the way the red and the rust pop, it doesn't look too bad the fact that I don't have to put the rust in after half of the red pattern um, 
it looks great and there is another row of this and I've tried my best to weave it in as neatly as possible when I've been going along but there's some places where I haven't been as careful as others um, mainly because I got distracted I think um, but I'm very pleased can't wait to wear it. I think it's going to be another couple of weeks now because um, I haven't been, I've been out and about quite a lot down the mountain so I haven't been able to sit and do as much knitting as I would have liked but I'm, uh, I think it's looking great and please let me know what you think in the comments below because uh, I'm always interested to hear about what you like about knitting and what you like about my knitting projects. Here are all the different yarns there is the gold, the green, the dark rust, the dark green and the fawn colour. So there we are. It's keeping me out of mischief. I love them. Now then, I have got some thrifted hauls to show you. Mainly online um, because I haven't been out to a thrifting shop. Um, in the last week, but anyway, I'll show you what I got online on Vinted. I bought this beautiful handbag. It's a tapestry, and I must find out where it is. It's a European town. Um, then inside is lined. And it's very, very nice inside. It's got a leather trim, and it cost me five euros. It's got little feet on the bottom and it's a small bag but I sometimes I only want a small bag I don't like the big heavy thing so I'm delighted with that oh this blouse here cost me two euros fifty it's a cotton silk mix by rifle jeans it's lightweight and it's ideal for the summer well, spring, summer. It's going to be very cool and I think it'll go really well with some of the skirts that I thrifted when I went to see my mum recently in the UK. It's beautiful because it's got a tie at the neckline, some little buttons there and it's got some flat lace just sewn onto the yoke part. Oh, these shoes, these shoes cost me three euros fifty all these items I got from Vinted, they're by Clarks. The leather is very, very soft. I have to be careful with shoes because I have problems with my feet sometimes. I wanted these to go with my tweed trousers. There is very little wear and they're in good condition. The inside is beautifully clean, which I am very fussy with when I thrift shoes. And um, I'm absolutely delighted with those. Now they're very comfortable, they've got um, a soft spongy insole, so delighted. As for spinning, I've been carding lately. Um, I like to card outdoors normally, I think there's still some bits of grass because carding is quite messy and you get a lot of grass and seed drops out of the wool and there's still a little bit in this carded wool. Um, this is one of the skeins I've spun up so far. This has been washed. It's got um, a kind of a creamy yellow colour. There's still a little bit of lanolin left. I've got this skein and I've got one that I need to wash. And I've got this carded wool yarn, wool, sorry, wool fibre to spin. Um, and I've still got tons to card. Is a bag. I've had three of these bags and I have two left to card. It's always recommended to wear an apron as I am as I'm doing in this but this is the before and it's got a lovely crimp in parts this wool and it's been very nice to spin it's quite fine and very soft there are lots of seeds and things in it still um, and when I card it just drops out so I like to card on my balcony on a sunny day but just recently the weather's been quite bad so once I've spun up the wool I've already got if the weather's not fine 
I just have to do my carding in the house. But there's plenty there. Absolutely tons. But it's carded into a lovely fluffy cloudy ball which is lovely. Thank you for watching my video till the end. Please like it if you do and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget that notification bell. See you next time.